All right. Well, it is Wednesday, uh, June 21st. It is 1030 in the morning. Um, I did not end up filming much on the vlog. Uh, yesterday, I was working a lot, packing, uh, shipping. Here, I'll show I'll show off how pretty it is outside with the sunshine. Um, and yeah, just just kind of got wrapped up into that. So did not do much. Um, yeah, I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing with filming and just focused on the packing. I am going to go upstairs and get the uh, packages uh, for payments that I have received. Thank you very much. And I'm going to get those packages ready um, and then I'll do a little bit um, at the front door to show the packages. Um, but this morning, um, Wednesday morning, so double sale morning, uh, with Jen and uh, Padoodles is our guest, uh, this week. And so, uh, for the morning sale, uh, we bring 10 items. So it is a little past the morning sale. I did take, um, a little break and, I had some breakfast. <laughs> I needed I needed to have um, a little breakfast, had some water. So feeling much better now, <laughs> feeling energized, ready to go. Um, so on the table here, I switched the camera around. So we bring 10 items and I did bring just 10 items. I did not, um, I did not do doubles, choice, um, anything like that. So I did bring 10 items. Uh, eight of the items sold. Two of the items are still available. The two items still available, this uh, beautiful metal frame uh, picture holder. Um, I thought it could be really nice as a postcard holder also. And then this small uh, Demitas size teacup and saucer. Uh, don't know who made that one, but it is really cute. Um, so those are the two items that did not sell. I did bring um, two more teacups. Uh, this one is marked Japan. It is a beautiful, interesting color. Very different. That one, Japan. This one is not marked, um, but it is the yellow roses. Absolutely gorgeous. And um, then this beautiful uh, long, 12-inch long tray did sell. It had one, one little, it is so hard to find, the one little right here. It has a teeny, teeny, tiny little loss in the gold. And it is not marked, so I don't know who made that. Um, I had this beautiful pair of glass candle holders. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Uh, the bottom is pretty solid, so they are very nicely weighted. They don't topple over. You can see how pretty they are in the light. They are gorgeous. Yeah, I think they're glass. I don't think they're crystal. Uh, but they work for a taper candle, or you can fit a tea light right across there also. Uh, this is also a candle holder. It's a little horse, and it is from Guatemala. He's not vintage, but he just has a really cool look to him. I liked it. Um, I had this, yeah, a, you know, kind of inbox, uh, something for your letters. Uh, very nicely um, uh, felted on the bottom. It feels like velvet. And that one is another McDonald design, Buffalo, New York, but nice wood used on this one and nicely lined. And then I brought two baskets. So this one is really fun because it has a different pattern on the back and on the inside. So that one was really nicely made. And then this little one, very stiff basket, even for having this little cutout here. Very, um, very well-made basket. So I was glad both of those uh, found a new home. So yeah, so those are the 10 items. Eight of them sold. Two did not. Camera back around again. Uh, so the plan is now. I have until, it is 10.30 now. I have until 1 p.m. my time. So that is two... Yeah, two and a half hours. Woo, it's going to go by really fast. Um, I am going to organize the table. 
the items that did not sell, uh, they will be going, well, they'll be going in the closet. Um, the one though, I, I, I don't know if I can find my postcards real quick to be able to grab them, but I might, um, to put in the frame to show how pretty they are in the frame. Uh, the ones that sold, yep, they are going to be heading upstairs so I can get those, um, when the next time I work on packing, hopefully tonight, I will be working on that. And, um, let's see, uh, I do have to get my 10 items for the afternoon sale organized. That's why I've got to clear off the table so I can get those 10 items over here. And I have uh, the postage to do. So those items in two and a half hours. So yeah, time's going to go by fast. So I've got to get working on that. But uh, yeah, those are the next steps. So I will probably see you when I get the postage done and we're taking a look at the packages at the front door. All right, well, it is almost noon. Um, I go live at 1 p.m. my time for the uh, afternoon sale. And I just want to uh, real quick do an update on the packages that are going out today. So I'm gonna... So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That big one right there. Eight packages going of um what about twelve more, I think, upstairs. And I probably won't have time to do postage on them if I do get payment today, but they will go out tomorrow because the mail carrier will probably come during the sale. Um, yeah, so that is where we're at. I am just now um, writing out my sheet, getting ready for the afternoon sale. I'm going to grab a little lunch and I will probably see you right after the sale and we'll talk about what sold and what didn't. All right, well, it is a little after 3.30. Uh, Jen and I have wrapped up the afternoon portion of the sale on Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, we do two sales, one in the morning, which you saw, one in the afternoon. Um, our guest, Pat, uh, she had to leave early uh, this week, unexpectedly, she had to leave a little early. Uh, so Jen and I wrapped up the sale. Um, yeah, it was a rough sale for, um, for the items I brought, um, and the sales I made. So, um, 10 items and I sold two. So eight items still available. Um, between the two sales, that's 20 items and I sold 10. So I sold half. Okay. Um, so we'll spin that on the positive there, but, um, yeah. So let's take a look at the items that did not sell. Again, there are eight of the 10 items that did not sell still available. I am going to, um, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Uh, so here we have a teapot. Uh, this is, I don't know where this teapot was made, who made it, Japan, England. Um, it's a little hard to tell. It is in beautiful condition. I had this tea, uh, teacup, which is a slightly different gold design, but they look beautiful together. The teacup has a pink rose in the center. Uh, this one is by, there we go, Royal London. I had this beautiful stained glass. It has a nice green on the outside, clear on the top. It is etched with a bird and a flower. That is a nice trinket box. <clears throat> This is a beautiful, there it is, hand-painted vase from Hungary. There we go. Uh, this pair of Nippon bowls. So this is, there we go, hand-painted Nippon. It is the, oh gosh, Moramura, I think. 
I think. I always have a tough time remembering that one. I have a little block. Uh, but these are a pair of identical, beautiful bowls. And because this was the company that became Noritake, you can see same shape bowl. They did continue to make this shape. This one is just with, there we go, the Noritake mark, hand-painted Japan, a beautiful luster scene. That is gorgeous. I had a blue glass perfume bottle. The Automizer is nice, functioning. I did test it. That is lovely. And then this little tea, tea, it's just a single teacup. I picked it up because of the little, I think it's a little bee on top here. There's a flower on the inside. It is a hand-shaped ruffle edge along the little teacup. And it is made in occupied Japan. That is such a sweet little teacup. Okay. So those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items that did not sell uh, today during the sale. Uh, the two items that did sell are this lovely set. This is a uh, U.S. Zone Germany. So those were only marked that way from 1945 to 1949. And that is a lovely sugar and creamer set. The fun thing is that it has a different flower design on the other side. So I'll reverse it. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. So there is a completely different flower set on the back side but it was in beautiful condition with this lovely top. And then I had this amazing teacup and saucer. I do believe it is from Turkey. Really fun with all the people on it. Here is the, oops, come on. There we go. There is the mark on the bottom, like a little postage stamp. So those are the two items that did sell during the sale. Um, also, during our sale, I was lucky enough to get an offer on one of the items I have listed on Poshmark. Um, and yeah, it might surprise you that I have things like this listed on Poshmark and I do sell items like this on Poshmark. Uh, if you'll remember, uh, over the weekend, I sold a, um, a framed art and a glass vase also on Poshmark. Uh, so I did get an offer of 25 for the set. Let me flip this around. This is Noritake. It is the royal pink pattern. And so I'll be getting that packed up and ready to go out the door. Um, yeah, but that is everything for the afternoon sale round. All right, uh, so I've got a little bit of computer work to do. I did get all caught up on the computer work except for the sale for the afternoon, which I need to share out. I need to enter in my sales and then I am good to go. Um, I got a couple more payments in, but the mail carrier had come, the sale had started, so those I'll get ready to go out in the mail tomorrow. Um, I do have to request USPS pickup. I don't think I did that yet. <laughs> so I will request pickup for all of those items. And um, yeah, so still lots to do, even though it is just 3.45 in the afternoon. Um, still, um, yeah, many things to get done, including then hopefully spending a large part of the evening packing and invoicing. And yeah, I've made um, really good, um, really good strides on that, but still want to get a little more caught up. And um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So um, I, I'll might be showing you a little more of the journey or I might be wrapping it up here. If I wrap it up here, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's another segment, then hey, bonus segment. <laughs> 
But uh, this part, I'm going to end right here. So you'll be able to tell on the ticker if there's more coming or not. But, uh, but if not, thanks for watching.